Hi, it's Bank from Machine or Paris, France. I hope you're well. And today I want to talk about the idea of the mantle. A lot of people explain that the mantle is our enemy and uh, we take care to um, switch off the mantle for some exercise in self hypnosis or different way of meditation. And it's interesting to understand that it's not a necessity to uh, switch off the the mental for me the mental is a part of a lot of exercise and we need to use it to become more um, aware about some elements and some uh, orientation that we take uh, for our exercise or daily exercise when we explain to people that mental is a bad thing we have a lot of feedback about okay but uh, what uh, how can we do uh, to work about something or to uh, attract something uh, if we don't use our mental and um, a lot of people explain that the mental is the worst part of us and our real uh, ourself say the through and uh, our subconscious mind know what is good and a lot of thing uh, in our bad day come from our mental he talking too much he say bad things he say our uh, how much we are bad or uh, give us some bad idea and so on so we explain in a lot of traditional way that we must uh, put our mental be quiet and say okay just shut up mental you you make me uh, bad and you create so much noise in my mind so it's not good for me and i'm not sure of that because mental is in the conscious mind it can help us in our logical way and in our analytic way and more of that it, it can be the 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 need of uh, what we want we 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 have a very interesting part in mental in conscious because if we can take time to listen what happened in our subconscious mind uh, in every id every picture every uh, self-talking and and so on and just take time and say okay if i had this idea or this feeling about these people or this situation and i'm feeling like that not good i can translate that only because i am able to listen what my mental what my conscious mind will explain in fact for me mental is a translator and a lot of people want to kill the translator and will say okay your subconscious mind is right but it's not real in fact our subconscious mind it, it make a lot of good sheets we know that we know that because every day in our um, hypnosis station we we have some people who come and say okay i i'm feeling bad i have bad habits i have bad pattern uh, some of my unconscious um, working driving is is wrong are wrong they they, they, they are not good for me uh, actually i'm anxious actually i'm a work colleague i'm uh, i'm actually under drug and so on and a lot of people will say, okay, your mental way is the bad way. No, it's wrong. Mental way is a very interesting way. It's not the way, but it's a, a, a partner for our subconscious mind. And our subconscious mind is like a kid, a, a five-year-old kid, and he makes some experience. And sometimes he keeps some ID, even if it's not the best, because one time it could be good for him, and he wants to secure what he, he, he do, he say, he make. And for me, um, the subconscious mind can take bad solution, can take bad initiatives. And we need to take care about what we do, how we do that. And uh, we need to take time to analyze this, that. The analysis is very interesting thing. And we can do that with the mental. A lot of people will say, okay, but your mental uh, overload you. Yeah, it's true. Sometimes we are too many mental, too many conscious mind. But it's not the only way that we uh, have some problem with ourselves. 
When we have some memories, when we have some uh, feelings, when we have some emotion and so on, that's in our subconscious mind. So we are overloaded by something in our inner self. And it's not logical, it's not um, analytical, it's not the mental way, the only mental. It's interesting to, to share our being in three parts. Mental part could be the conscious mind. Um, body part, it's more unconscious mind, a part. And emotion, it's more subconscious mind. So we are conscious, subconscious. I'm conscious. And when we talked about stop the mental, it's to say, okay, just stop the conscious. But what do you do with the two other part? A lot of them, it doesn't care. And that's crazy stuff. For me, when in meditation, I, I listened a long time ago, some sensei or guru explained to me, okay, just let your mind free and your mental is the bad part of you. But my body make me feel so many pain. My emotion was so in bad shape and I have some bad emotion because I disliked the, 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 the order that he, he gave to me and make me angry and so on. And he explained to me, oh, but the only enemy is mental. I think it's wrong. I think my mental helped me to don't uh, go up and uh, eat him. So my mental was a good thing. We, we, we sometimes, some people just cut too many part of us and don't give us good idea about what can be a part of us. It's sure, if I take anger, emotion, so we are not in mental, we are in emotion, so we are in subconscious mind. And we say, okay, anger is bad. Anger make uh, some violence. Anger is uh, difficult emotion and so on. And we explain to people, okay, you don't need to be anger, but it's stupid. Because anger can be a big energy. Anger can create some, some motivation. Anger can uh, change uh, a lot of situation and can be a very interesting part of ourselves. If we say only because it's sometimes a little bit hard to, to manage it, say, okay, everything I, I don't manage good, it's bad. I need to erase it. It could be so stupid. Imagine in a company, if we just manage good people and uh, the people who have different idea or different way of thinking, we, pull, we fire them. It's stupid. Some of the biggest ID in company in our world come from people who are anger, shy, um, who are uh, sad, who are uh, who have so many different ways. So if we say to ourselves, okay, you need to kill one part of you, mental is your enemy. Uh, we, we don't we don't care about the global people who are the 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 entity of what we are and and we make some strange idea about what is human and what is good i think we need to work with this three part i i um, i called it the three force like in zelda the three force we need to have mental conscious mind we need to have body in conscious mind we need to have emotion, subconscious mind. And when we have this trinity, we can work better with us and accept that some of our aspects sometimes is wrong. But the other one can help this part to be better. And not to say, okay, to be better in life, you need to erase something. It's like to say, okay, you dislike these people, erase it. No, you can learn from these people. You can learn from different thing and not all the time destruct and or erase or cut the connection with these people with this situation and so on and for ourselves it's the same way we need to respect our different part and different aspects of ourselves
If you have some question, just let me know and I answer when I possi when it's possible for me. And like every day, just take what is good for you. Take care. Be one.